Acaba de llegar, ¿eh? Qué suerte. Se salvó de una tormenta horrible. I, uh, I had a brush with it myself. El viento arrasó la jungla cercana. Derribó un árbol. Cortó la electricidad. Un par de casas se derrumbaron. I'm sorry. No es tu culpa. A no ser que controles el clima... Siempre es bueno ver caras nuevas en el pueblo. Sienta bien saber que no han olvidado este rinconcito del mundo. Y también le sienta bien al bolsillo, si tiene la gentileza de echarle un vistazo a lo que vendemos en la tienda. I love old maps. When I was a little girl, they always led to treasure. <laughs> Siempre me hacen sentir más perdida. My name's Lara, by the way. Pilar. No pareces el tipo de turista que solemos tener. I'm an archaeologist, actually. Ay, sí, creo que sería más apropiado. Deberías hablar con Abigail. Ella conoce la historia de este lugar mejor que nadie. We've already met. Abby's been kind enough to let my friend and I stay with her while we're visiting. Ah, bueno, entonces eres un huésped bienvenido en Kuwak Yaku. Thank you. Do you need help understanding the map? <laughs> no era para que yo lo entendiera. I have hidden the truth, as Abigail will find, but to uncover it... She must take a trip back in time. <laughs> Mariana nunca fue una gran poetisa. Mariana. La abuela de Abigail. La perdimos contra el cáncer. Hoy hace un año en realidad. I'm sorry to hear that. Mariana quería que Abigail tuviera el mapa en el aniversario de su muerte. Pero... Yo no sé. Sure. No sé si está lista. It's none of my business, but if it helps, Mariana believes she was. Tienes razón. Supongo que nunca fue mi decisión, ¿verdad? ¿Te importaría entregarle el mapa a Abigail? Perseguir a esa chica es trabajo de tiempo completo. Y mis caderas no lo soportan. Not at all. Abby's grandmother wanted her to have this, but why? Pilar didn't seem to know. It has to have something to do with the riddle she wrote on the back. Abby, it's Lara. Hey, stranger. How are you making out? How's Jonah? Jonah's fine. He's with a friend. <laughs> a friend, huh? What's her name? <laughs> His name is Uchu. Listen, Abby, I'm back in Kwakiaku and I've come across an old map that belonged to your grandmother. Well, there's an old timer in town, Diego. He runs the community garden. He's in two maps, I think. Maybe he can take a look. Meet me there? On my way. ¿La puedo ayudar? I'm a friend of Abby's. She asked me to meet her here. We have a map we'd like you to look at. Ah, huh? echemos un vistazo. Mm. Este es un buen trabajo. Buen detalle. Me alegra ver que se ha retrasado todos estos años. You're familiar with it. Puede que haya un poco más de polvo en el ático en estos días, pero nunca olvido mi trabajo. La abuela de Abby me pidió que lo preparara. Recuerdo bien, se suponía que era algún tipo de regalo para Abby. There are blemishes here. Three of them, do you see? Mm. Yo no los puse ahí. 
Huele a limón, ¿no? Lemon. Lemon juice can be used as ink to... There could be a heat fix message hidden in the map. Can I use your brazier? Seguro. Adelante. ¿Cómo funciona esto? Well, lemon juice is organic, so it will oxidize and turn brown when it's heated, and a secret message will appear. Han pasado muchos años. ¿Crees que todavía se notará? As soon as Abby gets here, we're gonna find out. Find out what? Y mira quién llegó. <laughs> I'm an angel, Diego. You know that. <laughs> no cuando eras pequeña. <laughs> Abby, according to Diego, your grandmother asked him to make the map for you, as a gift. Why would I need a map of the village? I know this place in my sleep. There's more. Your grandmother hid something here in the paper. You can barely see it. I think it's a secret message. Uso tinta invisible. Invisible ink. Really? Bueno, solo es jugo de limón, pero... But it does the trick. So, what's this secret? Don't know. May I? Let's take a look. Look, those symbols there. Three X's. X marks the spot. <laughs> Cute, Grandma. Are these points far from here? Nope. Should we split up? Sure. I'll take those two there. Thanks. Abby's grandmother, Mariana, used lemon juice.
There's a three-stepped edge on one side that looks to have been carved by hand. Come <laughs> on. 
Abby, how are you making out? Almost at it. Whatever it is. You? Look for a fragment of stone with a three-stepped edge. I found one here. I'm sure we're looking for two others. You're the expert. Follow the Napo to the Amazon.
hand carved on one side. Lara, I think I have one of those stone things here. I've got the others. Now what? Now we put them together and see what your grandmother is trying to tell you. Bilad understood grandma better than anyone. Meet me at her place. Esperaba que Abigail estuviera contigo. She's on her way. Hi, auntie. Ah, ah, ha pasado mucho tiempo, niña. Déjame verte. Mm, mm, todavía con el cabello corto, ya veo. <coughs> Auntie, we found something in Grandma's map. En realidad, tu cabello también podría estar mejor ahora que te veo de nuevo. Par de niñas tan poco femeninas. Auntie, please. Why did Grandma want me to have the map? I deserve to know. Mm. ¿Recuerdas las historias que tu abuela solía contarte cuando eras niña? Sobre un lugar mágico, escondido, construido por tus antepasados. Yes, but I grew up, and she grew old, and nothing magical ever happened. Ah, pero no olvidó su promesa. Está ahí, en tus manos. Why now? Ah, soy la guardiana del mapa. Depende de ti descubrir su propósito. Abby, I'm sure whatever is revealed in this map will lead to that hidden place and your answers. I hope so. All right, let's take a look. If we place each one of the fragments on the map where they were found, like so... That's the Chakana, the Inca Cross. It represents the three levels of existence. The upper world, the middle world, our world, and the underworld. También representa las cosas que nos hacen humanos, como la capacidad de amar, de actuar, de ganar sabiduría. But if I'm remembering correctly, the center of the Chakana is said to represent Cusco, the capital of the Inca Empire. In the context of the map, we're hundreds of miles from there. Hay muchas interpretaciones de la Chacana. Cusco. Um, un portal de un mundo a otro. También se dice que es el ojo de Dios, un guardián que vela por todos nosotros. So, what are we looking for? I mean, this has to point to something, right? Let's take a closer look. There has to be something we're not seeing. Something... There! I thought it was a small blemish when I first saw it, but in this light, it looks like a Maya hieroglyph. Maya? That doesn't make any sense. We are Inca. What does it say? Hahil. It means truth. Truth? Truth about what? I don't know. Does this place on the map mean anything to you? Grandma and I would sit there when she told me stories about the hidden place. 
Hmm, tal vez encuentres tus respuestas ahí. Ready? Keep the map. I'll meet you there. I thought it was a small blemish when I first looked at it, but in this light, it... What is that on the island? Abby, keep your radio close. I'll stay in touch if I find anything. Sounds good. And watch your ass in there. You can count on that. Need to open the gate. Way to get across. Why would my grandma want me to know about this place? Got to be a way to swing that pendulum over here. Got to be a way to swing that pendulum over here. Behind this pendulum, this doesn't make any sense. What have you got? If I had to guess, I'd say this place is a massive forge. But on this this place, it's an ale. What would they be for? The wall behind Sorry, this pendulum I'm not could be, be climbed. Much help to you there. The wall behind this pendulum could be climbed. The wall 
wall behind this pendulum could be climbed. that pendulum. There are statues here, huge faces arranged in a circle around the central column. They're watching over it like sentinels. But what are they guarding? You have a view that I don't. God, now I kind of wish I came with you. These platforms look just like those bridges. 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 to go back down to bring the platform back up.
Another explosion would raise the platform. Another explosion would raise the platform. This counterweight can lift the petal outside. found a note. It was written by your grandmother. She confesses to killing a man to protect herself and the village. She calls him the missing man from Paul Vanier. Does that mean anything to you? I remember when I was a little kid, there... there was a search. One of the workers disappeared. They never found him. Shortly after that, the last of the oil dried up and Porvenir left. Grandma killed that guy. My grandma. I don't think she had a choice. The platform should go back up. should go back up. way.
all the gas clouds are visible from here. found a mural depicting a great journey, a Maya queen leading thousands of her people from Mexico to Peru. All the Why gas clouds are visible here? from here. There are many theories about what happened to the Maya. There are old favorites, invasion, civil war, collapsing trade routes. But one theory has become very popular, that the Maya civilization was ultimately doomed by a period of severe climate change. She was probably leading them out of a decades-long drought. I'll go. One more spin should get the platform to the top. There's a sarcophagus here. It's beautiful. Definitely royalty. Made it. A sarcophagus. Like a coffin. Exactly like a coffin. I thought it was a forge. Whoever is buried here, they were very closely tied to this place and its purpose.
hidden place it was a forge but something more as well yes it is the resting place of the maya queen avarane the first guardian of kuakyaku she built the forge to construct an artifact of great power what artifact uh, i don't know Mariana told me that what was born from that place had long been lost, but she said the message it contained would always endure. It was a message of hope for the future. If you knew about all this, why wouldn't you tell me? I'm sorry, but I made a promise to Mariana. So what? I'm supposed to accept that I'm Maya all of a sudden? Abarrane's bloodline has been diluted over the centuries, but you are descended from her. So what does this mean? You're a guardian, Abigail. Like Mariana and her mother before her, all the way back to the time of Abarrane. <laughs> I can't be a guardian. I have responsibilities here. I've... You've been protecting this village for years. Hasn't a little bit of you always known? Felt, compelled, somehow. You are the keeper of the story now. That's what Grandma used to say. She said it was her job to keep its story. To keep it safe. She promised that one day she would show me where it was. And then I'd be the keeper of its story. She didn't forget her promise. She just had a different way of showing you. It's so like her, isn't it? She couldn't just tell me. Had to make a treasure hunt out of it. <sighs> I loved your grandmother as if she was my own sister. But sometimes she was a gigantic pain in the ass. Abby, I think I'll leave you two alone to talk about things. Sounds like you've got some catching up to do. Thanks, Lara. Here. I want you to have this, for all your help. And before you say anything, it's customary, so you kind of can't say no. Thank you.